Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben! BullionNow.com.au bringing you the best of the international stuff shipped to you worldwide from Melbourne in Australia. That's it. What do we got, mate? We've got a what I am calling the, the traffic light unboxing. <laughs> um, and it's because if I have got my, my orders correct, we should have um, the, the colours of the monster box should very nicely make out a traffic light. So we'll see how we go. Um, but these are some of the, the, the international staples uh, in the silver one do, don't we? Clearly, yeah. <laughs> Arranging boxes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, these, these are some of the international staples that we kind of uh, often get year to year. Um, but it's always nice to see them in, um, in kind of the current 2023 or, you know, current year. It is. I don't know. Have we brought the fillies in for the 23 before or is this the first time? There's one of these. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Either. Yeah. either way, we're getting more of them. We are. We've brought in a whole stack, so you don't have to race off before the end of this uh, this video. Um, there are plenty of the fillies in, but um, I don't know. Um, Depends when they're watching. They could be watching it <laughs> right as we're about to sell out of our last well, one in the future. Might. But um, yeah, this, this, this isn't the only box that we've got. Actually, all three of these um, deliveries on them are a bit hit and miss. So we have them at the moment. While we have them, we have a good stock of these two. Not so sure about the third, but we'll talk about yeah. in a minute. <laughs> um, so yeah, if they, if you need them as part of your stack, grab them while you can. Um, I don't anticipate running out quickly, but um, I don't know if I'll be able to get any more in. We way. have been wrong before. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to live that down. <laughs> So it's it's a bit of a uh, familiar favourite, but let's take a uh, a bit of a closer look. <laughs> once once you get into the tube, we'll take a bit of a closer look at the uh, at the coin. This is my favourite government mint coin. Whoa! All right. <laughs> I thought you were a maple maple guy. I like the maple. No match your maple guy. All ah, right. I'm a Philly guy. Ah. Because they have character to them. Oh, where are we going to show these off? So you've got that beautiful building on one side, worth 1.5 euro. Yeah. But it's actually the, what are we calling, which side's the obverse on this? Um, <laughs> makes it a little bit harder when you haven't got a, an effigy quite so clear to deal with. But I love the fact that they've got these musical instruments on here. Um, obviously, Austria is known for their Philharmonic Orchestra. And that's just the way they've highlighted it on the coin, on their national bullion coin, I just think he's fantastic. So considering like the 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 government mint coins, you know, they spit out they spit them out a million mile an hour, so you know the Australian equivalent is the kangaroo. Hang on, there's one more thing to look at on that on that coin. I'll let you finish that thought, but I want to take a bit of a look at the lack of a reeded edge. Yes. So considering this is just a run-of-the-mill mass-produced coin, I think the time they've put into the design and the fact that they haven't read at the edge, you know, they've they've come up with these subtle differences. They've just taken the time to actually design it and design it properly. Unlike, and I am having a go at the perfume here, the kangaroo, like it's it's a nice design, it's okay, but it's just, it just misses the mark. It just doesn't have the zing to it that um, some of these other ones do, like the European or the Austrian Philharmonic or the next one that we're about to open which is the maple. Do you reckon that's because um, do you reckon that's because you're just you're an, you're an Australian dealer and you're so used to seeing the kangaroo? Do you reckon the uh, the Austrian dealers go, oh, you know, the the Philharmonic, oh, but take a look at the kangaroo now. There's a coin. Yeah, look, I think this I think you're right to a degree. Yeah. Um Yeah, but I mean it's just <laughs> it, it just it really is plain, you know, this Oh, you know, we need an Australian coin. Oh, well, let's put a kangaroo on it. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, like it's uh, that's being really dismissive of it, and that's really unfair. But you know, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm overplaying it. Let's see what the comments say down below. Um, I've probably offended half of the Perth Mint as well, at least. The um, the kangaroo does actually sim similar to the to the maple you're about to look. Although I do think the maples ones are better. You know, you, you move the radial lines around it around the outside a little bit. You can get some some nice pattern shine. Yeah, 
I'm probably, I'm a, you're right, I'm being a bit harsh. Ah, that's all right, I'm just trying to <laughs> defend my, uh, my country's iconic kangaroo <laughs> coin. Oh, good grief. I'm sure they're making these things harder and harder to open. Well, I mean, if they know they're sending them to us, it's like, well, this one might end up on YouTube. Let's, yeah. uh, let's glue this one down a little bit. It's right. Make us take a bit longer. That's it. So here we go. I should have kept one of the fillies out, shouldn't I? We'll go side by side on them. So that is the iconic maple. And yeah, you're probably right. It's a little bit like the kangaroo in that it doesn't change. Yeah. You know, it's a similar kind of thing with, you know, one kind of major thing in the middle there with some some cool yeah. radial lines around the outside they've, to... they've taken the time they've got the uh, the security mark on the side there yeah you know, of the of the maple leaf again or the maple leaf inside the maple leaf inside the maple leaf mm. they just i don't know it just it seems to have more care taken about it maybe that's a load of rubbish <laughs> but it's just what it seems oh you know? we have um, a commemorative uh, design on the back there from the Canadians, which we haven't seen before. So, celebrating the years of reign of Her Majesty. Um, yeah. They gone the years of reign? Yes, they have. Yes. For a second there, I wondered if they had her year of birth on there. But it wasn't. It wasn't to be. So, let's actually lay them all out side by side. Yep. Um, Wait, you get a... Uh, Filly back out. If I can open the tube. Yeah. <laughs> Lose the glove for a second. Um, no, it's a very nice looking, uh, very nice looking maples there. You know, I'm just doing this to delay the time between going to the controversial one. Ah, uh, that's all right. Well, from because of my traffic light comment, there will be people from the get go that will know what is in that last box based yeah. on the uh, the color of the monster box. All righty. So the next monster box, in case you hadn't guessed, is green, which means we are opening one of the more controversial uh, coins at the moment. Why is it controversial? Well... What could a silver coin have done wrong? Yeah, well, it's not the coin that's done anything wrong. It's, it's the premiums that are being charged for a standard government issue bullion coin and I can tell you as a dealer on the other side of the world it's incredibly frustrating that um, we're being asked to pay such horrendous premiums mm. on such a basic coin and look the eagle is a nice coin don't get me wrong I'm not criticizing it um, the American market is very very deep so you know they can the demand on an eagle is humongous and I get the attraction of, I'm probably not allowed to say the word price gouging, but let's call it price gouging. I get the, the attraction of that, but I think they've taken it a little bit too far. Because after all, it is one ounce of silver. It is a very pretty coin. There is no doubt about it. Um, particularly, I actually like the new design on it, um, which probably isn't a new design now because it's been out for a couple of years. But I think the design on it is great. What I find difficult is that the US mints only deal with four or five wholesalers and they basically corner the market and they can charge pretty much whatever they like on a premium for it. So to give you an idea, by the time we finally, I'd finally been convinced to pay the excessive premium on them and we'd imported them into the country, by the time they actually landed here, and I mentioned this on live stream on Friday, the wholesalers are actually offering to buy them back off me for more than I paid for them initially to bring them into Australia. Because there is such high demand, they can't get hold of them, and so the prices are moving upwards, ever upwards, on the premium. So the premium is the, the component above spot price. So you've got the variable spot price in the middle um, that you know the, the miners get effectively, and then the refiners and wholesalers and retailers like ourselves um, take a component of the um, premium above that spot price. Um, now normally we say that spot price very rarely moves. On the Eagle for the last couple of years, you could actually say I was actually not, um, I wasn't being entirely truthful because the premium has moved and moved and moved and moved and moved greater and greater and greater. 
to a point where we've actually refused to bring them in for, what do you reckon, rooms, 18 months? It's now? been a while, particularly since since we've had new eagles. We had some um, some old ones hanging around for a little bit. Mm. Um, does that mean, though, that they're, they're a good investment? I mean, that's it. If you're if you're able to buy something and then, you know, by the time you actually get it, it's gone up in value, particularly on what, you know, you we're calling a fairly standard basic silver coin. Um, is that is that not a good thing if you're, you know, if you're stacking them? That's, that's a really good question. Um, I'm going to attack it from two sides. If your intent, if your, if your investment is purely a play on um, spot price movement, you believe that silver is going up over the longer term, so therefore I want to hold it, I would argue that you want to buy the cheapest thing you can, compress those premiums as much as you can, yep. because your, uh, silver is silver in this argument, and I, we all know that I don't believe quite that silver is silver, but at, at its base level, as a base investment, silver is silver. So why would I pay a huge premium? And we're talking two, three, four times the premium of some of the other major world government mints. Um, why would I pay that for an Eagle coin when I could buy a kangaroo in Australia, a, um, a maple in Canada? I don't understand why you dodge the um, Britannia, but um, if you're in the UK, but you know where I'm going with this, you know, if you're in Austria, you'd, you'd buy that. Um, if I was in the States, would I buy the um, Eagle? No, I wouldn't if I was looking at a silver play. However, if you're looking at a premium play, so will the premiums increase further? That's a different discussion. And yeah, I, I think I'd come with the same answer. I, I don't believe that the premiums are going to keep going up forever. I think eventually we're going to hit a point where um, the premiums are actually going to start easing back. So. Even in the States, I would be incredibly reluctant to buy an Eagle. Now, I've probably upset half of the viewers on here by now. And um, I think I think this topic splits a lot of people because that's it. We will get plenty of people that go, there is zero chance I'm going to buy anything like an American Eagle because, my goodness, the premium. And other people that go, well, hey, my, my favorite YouTuber says that, you know, Eagles are amazing. Um, so I'm going to stack, you know, exactly what I hear about. You know, yeah. they're... And I think that, I think you've actually hit the nail on the head there. A lot of the... A lot of the YouTube education, and I'm not criticising it, um, you know, we're part of that as well, but a lot of the YouTube education comes out of the US, and so they, particularly the older stuff, not so much over the last six months or so, yeah. but the older stuff particularly was by the Eagle, because it was, their, it was their standard bullion coin. Much like in Australia, we say, well, if you want a cheap bullion coin, you grab the kangaroo, because it's cheap, it's produced here. In the States, the kangaroo is dearer than what it is here. And so it's in competition with some of the other foreign um, government mints uh, in the US. But in Australia, it's the cheapest thing. If you'd like to step above that, you know, you, you go for the, the Canadian maple or you go for the Austrian Philharmonic, those types of things. They'll be a dollar or two dearer than the kangaroo is, but they're still a good generic option. Unfortunately, as people that are non-US based, we view those because until, well, until the likes of us kicked off, there wasn't a lot of information coming from outside of the States. So they would say, well, as you said before, my favourite YouTuber out of, you know, California or out of, you know, Texas or wherever, you know, would say, buy the Eagle. So they come in and they do. They come into Bullion Now in Melbourne here and they say, oh, I've got to buy the Eagles. You know, I've been told that they're the best thing to get. Well, not when you're in another country, they're not. Hmm. Um, they don't, you know, they, they're not going to serve the purpose that you're after. There's cheaper ways to do it by buying, you know, kangaroos or fillies or maples. So th this, there's a whole basket of worms here. And like I said, I've probably upset pretty much everyone on this video. Um, buy, buy what works for you. That's it. You know, yeah, take... it is. And look, I, I, undoubtedly, I will grab one or two eagles for myself. So I'm being slightly hypocritical here. But I'll grab them more as a curiosity thing, more as a, you know, I like to have variety in my stack thing. If I was looking for a core stacking coin, I would not grab the Eagle at this stage because I don't believe these premiums will last forever. Yes, they are here now. Yes, they may even go a little bit higher. They have eased back a bit, which is why we secured these, but then they increased again. Um, there are, just be aware there are other options. If you're buying it because you want the Eagle and you want it in your stack, Fantastic. We picked these up. That's that's at, why we got them through. Yeah, yeah, at a lower print. We only got one monster box. So one of two things is going to happen here. Either we're going to have sold out by the time we finish this video, or people are going to go, you're charging what? 
And, uh, you know, it'll be a little bit like the um, Mexican Libertads ads that we've got in where people wanted them in until they saw the premium that we had to charge to land them here on our shores and then, you know, backed off a bit. I suspect we're going to see that. People are going to look at the price of the eagle and go, are you kidding me? Um, and we're going to have them in for a quite a while, which is why I only bought one box of them. But if they do go out quickly, we will try and bring in some more. We'll see at what premium. All right, thank you very much. My, my traffic light worked. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we will, uh, we will see you in the next video. Sounds good. See ya.